everyone. Welcome to Slater's Risk Game. Today we're going to do a, a super quick unboxing. I, I got this watch yesterday and I still haven't officially really unboxed it. I just cut it open, looked inside, but I really didn't uh, take any stickers off or anything like that. So this is going to be like a quick unboxing. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Please continue to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I do appreciate everybody, everyone's support and we are moving forward to 1100 subscribers. So thanks for your support so far. And uh, a, a quick wristwatch check. Uh, right now I'm wearing a JW Hume chronograph. If I can get this thing to focus. Uh, it's pretty good value. Picked it up for only $29.99. So I've done an unboxing of this one. So you guys check out that unboxing. All right, but let's go ahead and get to this one. Now, this came from the June 1st AliExpress sale, okay? So this is the brand Podegar. Probably butchered that night, forgive me. Uh, this is a uh, Chinese homage brand, okay? Here's the outer box. All right, here's the inner box. Once again, you see the branding. And we have the watch inside, okay? And this plastic. Let's just check and see if we have anything else that comes with this one. All right. So I guess this is supposed to be a warranty card. We have a microfiber cloth. I think that's it, but nobody came here to see that. Okay. It's not why you're watching the video. So I picked this one up because I always like Panerai. I wondered how it would uh, fit on my wrist. And this one I picked up for, I think, $12, if not mistaken. So I thought it was a good value. Uh, has a blue dial, this uh, light brown leather strap. Okay, so here it is, the dial up close. So I like the Arabic, the three, six, and nine. This is actually a chronograph. Now I'm not familiar with Panerai. I don't know if this is a, a homage of the radio mirror. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the models. I actually. Put the model there is an homage of when I edit the video. Here's the case back. Okay, so let me take a minute to make sure I got the plastic off. Doesn't seem like there's any plastic on the, the dial, covering the dial. Okay, now I'm back. So basically there was no plastic on the uh the covering the dial of the watch you do see there's a coarse movement i think it's actually set it was almost it's, it's incorrectly set i fixed that all right so just take a kind of look at it so this is just a quick unboxing i'll do a review later here's the case back it does say genuine leather so this i just want to do this quick unboxing i'm gonna wear this for a little while for a few months and then do a full review and anytime i buy something from china there's an homage I, uh, I don't really expect a lot, but I just want to see how the quality is, how long this holds up. But thanks for watching this video. Uh, please continue to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, oh, oh, and I bring you another video soon, but I do want to do a wrist uh, shot. Let me take this off. I'll go ahead and put this on. So the one thing I can tell, I, Immediately, there is the strap is very stiff. Doesn't seem like a very high quality strap. It might might be okay. To watch if I get another strap for it. So this is the watch on my wrist. Okay, do a quick wrist roll. All right, now that concludes the video. I bring you another one soon. Thanks for watching.